So recently we hit 5,000 subscribers. So as a way of saying thank you, here are all my answers to the questions you had about me and more importantly, the GCSEs that are coming up quite shortly as well. So enjoy. The first question is, what active recall method should you use when memorizing content? Do I need to memorize absolutely everything? And is there enough time to make angry flashcards for some of my subjects? In terms of what method you should use for active recall, I think you should keep it pretty simple and basically just use a look, cover, write, check method. And if you don't want to write it down, then just say it. So for example, if you want to devise open source and proprietary software, I would say read it first to understand the content, you would know what you need to memorize and what you don't. But if you've already learned it in class, then you also have that extra insight into what you really need to know. The answer to the second question is no, you don't have to memorize absolutely everything. Then you cover it and then you say it to yourself and you check if you got it right. And in terms of if there's enough time to make angry flashcards, I think there still is enough time. I think you still have to make it quickly though. And I say this because I'm making my angry flashcards right now for subjects like French. I would say if you're making the angry flashcards, like let's say you made it on one chapter and you want to make it for the other chapter, as well don't wait until you've made it for all the chapters and start going through them for like chapter one keep on going through it even if you haven't made one again you've got lots of questions it says why did i start youtube what is my favorite slash best video that i made and what is my favorite subject why did i start youtube so i think i started my youtube channel in 2020 and obviously lockdown was at that time as well and the reason why i started youtube was because there wasn't much to do at that time and so i wanted to do something different i did start some channels i did make some videos with my brother but they didn't work out to be going that well so i ditched that and i decided that i wanted to do something myself and then i spent some time thinking on what was a skill or an advantage that i had that could allow me to make videos so then i remembered that you know i completed the 11 plus so i could make videos on that from there basically i just started making revision videos and educational videos and yeah just been making videos then since what was my best video and favorite video the best video that i've made in terms of views was obviously the last one it's got i think over forty thousand views that's literally the best video i've made so far but my favorite video that i made was attempting a mass gcc paper because i think like in the niche that i make videos on you can't really have a sort of challenge videos so i tried to make that a bit different that's why i enjoyed that video as well the next question is how many hours do i usually study in a day so on school days weekends and holidays so on holidays i don't study that much or much at all basically i don't study at all and you know, like in the summer holidays that, uh, that we had i didn't study much like uh, the week before school started i tried to go over my week subjects but then it, it, there's no point revising in the holidays because you're going to start new topics anyway so in terms of school days i think i can get a good one hour of revision done when exams are coming up when there's no exams coming up then i usually just do homework and that's basically it and that's because like i'm really tired so I don't end up doing my work and on the weekends i think i can get two to three hours of work done for example today today was a sunday so i did complete i would say two and a half hours of studying and that's quality studying as well so that's two and a half hours of quality studying so that actually means that i actually sit down on my desk for like four hours but i end up procrastinating as well another question from the same comment was what is my favorite sport so i'll give you my top three favorite sports the uh, first one is cricket because that's what I grew up playing and watching as well. This is football. I got into that a couple of years ago and I enjoy watching it but playing it a bit more. The next one is basically table tennis. I would say I'm quite decent at the sport and I enjoy it as well. And the next question is, how do you revise for English language? Before I move on to the next set of questions, I want to talk about atom learning. If you're age 7 to 12 or if you have a sibling or just know someone who is and they're preparing for the 11 plus or just want to improve academically, then atom learning is for them. Atom learning provides online adaptive learning platforms such as atom nucleus and atom tuition. Atom nucleus covers English, maths, verbal and non verbal reasoning and even though it's mainly for the 11 plus preparation this still covers science as well these courses are adaptive and so the learning is personalized towards you through ai and of course there's a wide range of mock tests for grammar and independent schools and then atom tuition is expert one-to-one -one tuition for you as the student specifically based on your academic stage and learning goals see for yourself with a free trial how it will significantly boost your chances of success in the 11 plus and all other tests within your age range Oh, and if you do decide to significantly boost your chances of getting success in 11 plus, you do want to buy the packages and do be sure to click the link in my description so you can get 10% off. English, if you don't know already, is one of my weak subjects, hence why I haven't made any revision videos for English. It's just not a subject that I've been naturally strong at. But surprisingly, in the mocks that I had recently, I was able to get a nine and I was actually surprised by it. I'll let you into how I revised. I didn't revise that much. What I basically did was I watched Mr. Everything English's videos on 
basically all the questions apart from question one so i watched down question two three four and five for question five he had a story kind of draft that he said you could use there was a part of me saying that i should make one myself but then there was a part of me that was saying that because i was revising the day before i needed that story and i ended up getting 34 out of 40 i think it was so it did work the next question is who is your favorite youtuber i don't watch videos on youtube i don't actually watch videos just from one creator i've noticed that i watch videos that come up on my recommended so i'm watching videos from different creators all the time basically just because they're the best videos that are on youtube but if i had to give you names of youtubers that i watch watch mr zubas and mkbhd like those tech videos i like to watch them as well sometimes watch beta squad as well very rarely i watch sideman videos of beta squad i like their, their videos more I watch a bit of ali abdal as well and obviously i watch mr beast but i'll be honest i don't enjoy his videos as much as i used to two three years ago but like now it seems like a whole huge production the next question is it's not about gcse's it is what a levels do you want to do now this is actually a really good question because for all the six forms that i applied to i chose maths physics and computer science for the three a-levels that i wanted to do for i think one to two months i basically had that as my decision i didn't want to change it and i decided i think that was a pretty good combination of subjects that i wanted to do only recently like literally only recently like yesterday or the day before i've decided that i'm probably gonna end up switching computer science with further maths if you didn't know already i want to do computer science so you're probably thinking then why am i dropping computer science well you don't need computer science if you want to study computer science in university not that good in maths but i think i can practice towards it whereas in coding you have to spend lots of time to get better at so I think I'm going to end up switching computer science for further maths. Next question is, what made you start YouTube? I already kind of answered that question, but how has it affected your life? I think YouTube hasn't affected my life that much, but it's given me something to look forward to. I actually enjoy it. It really keeps me motivated in doing something apart from just revision, but it's a good side hustle to look forward to. I think it's mostly basically 99% positives when making YouTube videos and I'm happy I started the channel. The next question is all about computer science, how to revise computer science. How will I pass computer science and when will there be a video on computer science? So I've been meaning to make a video on computer science for so long, trust me I have, but it's some things that have been holding me back. First of all, I'm not the best at computer science. Obviously theory, everyone can be good at it and that's why that's my stronger part. But for coding, I wouldn't say I'm the best coder. I would give myself like a 6.5 to 7 out of 10. That's because I think if you have done coding before, then you're either naturally good at it or you're not because you need some deep logical reasoning into it and um, I don't think I have the best logical reasoning when it comes to coding so I will try to leave any links to any you know Python and our tutorial videos to help you get started because I think it is important to practice it as well and I might make a video in the future to explain how I do that if I get any better results so if you don't mind me asking what are your predicted grades yeah I don't really mind sharing my predicted grades to be honest, they're not the best grades. I think they were actually an average lower than my mock grades. Mostly eights, a few sevens, and very few nines. I've tried to leave it up on the screen for you to see. But personally, I don't really care about predicted grades in terms of GCSE level. It's the actual things that matter. There's not many six forms that require you to get all nines and to get offer anyway. So it's not, I don't really care about predicted grades. I cared more about my mock results and they were quite decent. So yeah, it's just, it's just the final thing now have to focus on what app do i use to edit my videos now this is going to be quite surprising because you're probably going to think that oh you know with the amount of time i spend into editing my videos and some of you really appreciate the editing that i do you probably think i do like some sort of high level computer editing but i actually edit all my videos on CapCut. yeah i use CapCut to edit my videos but it's just that i haven't been able to get myself to edit on a computer because I've made that habit of always editing on my phone, so CapCut first. It's just so convenient editing on a phone because I can make the cuts quicker. I tried, trust me, I tried to edit videos on DaVinci Resolve because that's an eye level free editing app. Even to just get the cuts, it would take the amount of time that I can finish a whole video. CapCut is really good, especially for the quality that I've been able to make my videos at. We'll see when I end up editing on my computer. This isn't really a question, but it says, would you mind sharing your French flashcards if possible? I've decided that I will share my flashcards that I've been making because I did talk about in the video. I haven't made it for all the chapters yet. I've only made it for module one and module two. And obviously I'll keep on adding the rest as I make them. I'll try to leave the theme as well in the description of this video, last week's video as well. I think it'll be easier for you guys if you use the flashcards that I'm using because it'll make your life so much easier as well. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way through if you did. If you did, then do leave a like and subscribe so we can hit 
whatever big milestone I have planned for the future. Obviously, GCSEs are coming close day by day, but I do want to make more uploads for you guys to help you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.